As part of the Philippines' military modernization, Ivico Latin America's first batch of Guarani 6x6 armored personnel carriers, APVVs, is currently en route from Brazil to the Philippines. The first five vehicles were spotted at the port of Santos in Brazil, boarding a commercial cargo ship bound for the Philippines, with arrival scheduled for mid-December 2023. Delivery of the remainder of the fleet is scheduled for late 2024. This delivery marks a key moment in defense relations between Brazil and the Philippines. The Guarani vehicles are part of a substantial contract, valued at approximately $46 million, signed with Israeli company Elbit Systems on February 7, 2021. Indeed, after its victory in the call for tenders for the supply of light tanks to the Philippine Army, Elbit Systems also won this contract for the supply of 28 Guarani armored personnel carriers, currently in service in the Brazilian Army. Some of these vehicles will be equipped with the UTB-30 remotely operated turret produced by Elbit Systems. Following negotiations with the Boltzano Company, the production of vehicles intended for the Philippines was entrusted to the Ivico Vehicular Factory in Defisa de Seat Lagoas, which then had in stock around 100 Guarani vehicles already assembled and waiting. Of Equipment this strategy would have been adopted in order to allow Elbit Systems to offer the Italian-Brazilian armored vehicle at a particularly attractive price. The expedition follows months of negotiations and a significant diplomatic breakthrough. According to Technodefensa, on September 27, 2023, Germany likely lifted its embargo on six components essential to the production of Germany. These components, including ballistic steel, mine protection plates, periscopes, CV half-shafts, transmission systems, and cooling fans, are now permitted for export to the Philippines, overcoming an obstacle that had previously delayed the shipment. Philippine versions of Guarani vehicles differ significantly from their Brazilian counterparts. These differences include adding ballistic armor plates to achieve protection level 3 according to Stanag 4569. They are also equipped with a combat management system, XTM, and software-defined radio, ELIN XTM, both supplied by Elbit Systems. Additionally, these vehicles are equipped with a remotely operated weapon system, RCWS, developed by Elbit, designed to meet the specific requirements of the Philippine Army. This RCWS is armed with either a 12.7 by 99mm machine gun, .50 BMG, or a 7.62 by 51 mm machine gun. This variant also includes an 18-ton capacity hydraulic winch installed at the rear of the vehicle. The VBTPMR Guarani, in Portuguese, Viatura Blindada de Transporte de Peso, Media de Rodas, meaning Armored Personnel Carrier Vehicle, Medium Wheeled Type, is a 6x6 armored personnel carrier developed by Ivico and the Brazilian Army as part of its Eurota 3 modernization program aimed to replace all EE-11 Eurotu by 2015. The 8x8 version of the VBTPMR is the basis for the Superav armored personnel carrier of Ivico. Other Brazilian companies also participated in the program, such as Imbol, Communications, Elbit, Armour, and Yusimenez and Villers, development of national ballistic steel structures. The VBTPMR Guarani is powered by Ivico's Cursor 9 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 383 horsepower and mated to an automatic transmission. The vehicle is equipped with hydropneumatic suspension. Modular side floats can be added for improved flotation. The basic APC can be airlifted by C-130 Hercules. The vehicle has a crew of two and is designed to transport nine soldiers.